Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, today we have Stubbs on the episode, Peter Arvidsson. He's been on this show before and um, I think he's just afraid that I'm going to make him share his deepest, darkest secrets. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> hey Stubbs, how's it going? Uh, Aiden, man, it is good to be back with you. Uh, you know, cool. we had you on our on our show, what, last week? Yes. Yeah, we week and ago. And that was, that was a lot of fun. Got to catch up with you and I know we were going to record our episode that night, but we decided, hey, let's let's start fresh today, and uh, which is great because I got to take a nice long bath before the episode, get in the right podcast. Oh, cool. oh, headspace. So you don't smell. That's good. Mm. So I don't smell. I got my nicest shirt on for you, oh, and cool. I uh, I have a glass of water, and I'm ready to podcast and talk cool about thing. whatever subjects uh, you want to uh, you want to cover. What's going on? How can cool. I uh, best podcast you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel, cool. I feel funny. I yeah. feel funny uh, mm-hmm. being on, on another podcast. Cause I, I think I was saying this last time. I naturally want to try to start to go into host mode. It's like, no, no again, once again, this is your show. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I see you making a point of like stopping talking and waiting for the next thing. Um, but uh, I, I think it's cool. I, I think you must, uh, you must take over if you want to take over, but. Um, I, I think this is something I never noticed about you because you, you come across like me, like super sort of like unplanned and off the cuff and just like, mm-hmm. like Im- improvise everything's yes, improv and, kind of and, and that's anything goes purpose sometimes anything goes, yes. it's can be casual, yeah. can be whatever, but there's a lot of, a lot of just neurotic planning that goes in to yes. what appears to be random off the cuff chaos. You know, there's a yeah. lot of, lot of thought that goes into that and then you let it all out then you do improvise but you have you have a general outline i I feel like yes yeah i I mean same here no no, definitely um so when i was on your show that was that like i I noticed that and then um i like it it feels like you you in in like you said a lot of like neurotic planning like you you kind of internalize a lot of that like anxiety and worry about this went wrong that went wrong and you're still like putting on that like yeah, everything's cool, man. But <laughs> I can you see do. kind of yeah. behind at the scenes. You're like, oh, shit, this went wrong. Oh, man, that guy said that wrong. Like you're, you're, that, you're tracking. You're, seemed, you're, yes. While you're making the content, your mind is is keeping tabs on all the little kerfuffles and mistakes yeah. and issues that are happening. And you're like, mm. just just keep it cool. Just keep it going. Afterwards, you, you really audit yourself and you really ask, you know, your team, how, how, how was this? What How'd this go? Uh, and... I don't know. You just try to improve a little bit every time. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing my show, you know, once a week and that is a faster cadence. Last year we were doing every other week. And so now it's every Monday and okay. just, and it takes a good yeah. two or three days to prep beforehand, mm-hmm. researching all the topics you're going to talk about um, and then doing everything else off the cuff. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's, it's, podcasting in 2024 is kind of a wild world and YouTubing even more so. Mm. So I, I, I don't, I don't know, but I respect anybody. I think who, who really tries to endeavor to do this because it, it, it can be tough to do it long term and to keep yeah. up with everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. I was, I was wondering why I don't listen to the podcast that much live. I mean, and, um, and then I realized it's cause I'm sleeping, man. Yes. And that annoys yes. me. I was, mm. That's right. I was going to be like, what in the, you don't listen to the podcast. I'm, <laughs> but you are, I am in, I am in Portland, Oregon across mm. the world from you right now. It is almost 10 PM for me. It is what 6 AM for you. And we're on completely, completely different time zones. So, you know what? I, I, I forgive you. And I want to take this moment to say, um, that we can have this moment of healing and I appreciate this. <laughs> so, uh, but last yeah. time, last time you, did pull just my deepest, darkest sort of stuff out of me. I don't know how you do it. You have this therapeutic voice about you and uh, it tr- plays tricks on me. And so this time I, I've, de- I've, I've decided you're on God joke jokes only. <laughs> there, you won't, you won't get a shred. You sure. won't get a shred of personality. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm here to it's business. just kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here to chat about whatever. Uh, I have my handhelds that I pulled in recently. I got the three, five XX. Okay, that's the 2024, the, 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 the nonsense edition, yes. The nonsense edition, that's been a whole <laughs> thing. Yeah. I'm not making a video on this. This is ridiculous. There's no reason to buy that. this. 
really when the you know i, I appreciate Stubbs's video i mean Stubbs russ's video because it's like here's yeah. 24 minutes on why you should not buy this thing <laughs> right yeah, yeah. But, well he made a good point in that um mm. You know, if you don't have any of these vertical handhelds, any of these cheaper handhelds, and you're not part of this niche and part of this scene, this device, I mean, really is wonderful for for what it is. It really is. Mm-hmm. It's just we know better. We know that you can get Wi-Fi and you can get better shoulder buttons for just a two or three dollars more and get the plus model. Yes. And this is a downgrade. Now, this was a money. This was a financial uh, uh, choice by Amber Nick. We have to think because they probably had old shells lying around and they have a bunch of stock of this new H 700 SOC. And you know, they're probably yeah. planning this first and they made the plus instead. And now they just don't want to put it all to waste. And so here you go. What I don't okay. get, what I don't get is why they're making a big deal of this being some new unique handheld when it, when it's not, it's, it's not even an improvement on the original three, five XX, which is an mm. awesome handheld. With garlic that's, OS on it. Yes, that's where that's the little part of the conversation where I'm like, oh man, what the hell are you guys doing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, it, it sometimes just doesn't make any sense. And Rob and I mm. always joke, the retro tech dad, we always joke that, you know, th- their cadence for releasing handhelds is almost weekly at this point. Yes. You know, it, it, it was one after another, after another, after another. And now there's going to be the new clamshell, the, the, mm-hmm. the three, five XX SP. Yes. And it, it's, it's hard to keep up as yeah. a reviewer, as um content creator. And just as an enjoyer of handhelds, it's, it's like, you don't really have time to savor each release and start to modify it and maximize it. it now it's the next thing. Yeah. Time to talk about it. How, yeah, do you, so, how do you stay engaged as a content creator with exactly and how do you keep your audience engaged on how do you keep the audience engaged uh, we've probably said rg 35xx a million times now like it's you know we've we've worn their ear, ears out like let's let's move on now please do you did you know that that was originally just a like a prototype name but yes i remember in the beginning yeah hmm. but they didn't change it you know, that was always like, it was going to yeah. be three, five, mm. something, something XX, was just the XX filler. Like we're not sure. Yeah. And we're not sure. And then they made it. Uh, and now the first one, it was a viral, amazing handheld, not really as successful as the Miu mini overall or yeah. the Miu mini plus, but nonetheless, in its own right, because of black serif and garlic, that thing was mm. the handheld for me. The one yeah, I was one camping. of the champions of it. I was yeah. one of the, that's how my channel started growing was I just started, I was like, this is a great handheld. It's yep. it like serves the community. It's a win-win for me. Cause if I make content about this, um, I'm not lying. I'm not, you know, I'm at, this is good content for me. And, uh, and then mm-hmm. I followed the whole garlic OS thing and I even contacted black Seraph. Um, so it was like my first time, like really getting into the scene, yeah. talking to a dev and all the stuff behind and, the scenes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was really like pushing it cause I really believed in it. But uh, now I'm, I'm almost the opposite. Now I'm like, rather buy the Mi Mini Plus. It's better in every way. <laughs> you know, it really is. And there's another one on the scene. I don't know if you've seen this. Let me show you. The uh, R33S. This is a clone of the Mi Mini. Yes. And this thing. I saw that pop up last night. Yeah, this thing looks mm-hmm. just like a Mi Mini Plus. Yes. Mm-hmm. I actually like the purple on it better yes. than the Mi Mini Plus, that kind of weird pink that they have. That's the one thing I don't like about that one. Yeah, However, and the, the PCB is blue on the Mi Mini Plus, whereas this is black, yes, which looks better. This is, yeah, and so visually, except for the face buttons, which are just atrocious mm-hmm. looking, visually yeah. this actually looks nicer to me. But mm-hmm. when you start playing it, you realize, okay, there's frame pacing issues. There is super loud. Listen to this. Cl- Crazy, crazy loud buttons. The face buttons just don't feel good. The D pad is crazy loose. The reset yeah. button is super hard to push. And there's all these yeah, I can see. there's all these things, and you're like, okay, this is not it. And there's more and more clones coming out that are trying to mm. replicate that success of this little tiny yes. pocket handheld. And, and it's really 
No. And I'm just going to keep recommending the Miu Mini Plus for most people. Yes, That's- me too. Yep. Well, it was funny because I made a video. This is what I recommend to friends. The RG353 mm-hmm. VS. Because, you know, it's got all of the things. It's got a oh. powerful enough chipset to play most things for most people. I was yeah, like, this is sticks. a great device. It's solid, all the things. And then yeah. it got to Christmas time and I was going to Cape Town and one of my best mates lives there. And so I gave him my Mio Mini Plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's that's right. what drop I ended up shipper, giving, actually. Drop shipper will send you another one to cover soon. It's Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, I, I, I have, I, yeah, I've got the purple one now. They just start Let's dropping them on your house. Like you, you, <laughs> you will, you will, Aiden. You will review me many pluses forever. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> listen, I need to keep in communication with you because from the beginning, I've noticed yeah. like Stubbs will buy anything that moves or doesn't move or like is spoken about or not spoken depends. about. Depends. <laughs> yeah. It well, it 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 really it really depends. These these days, <laughs> yeah. I am becoming yeah. a lot more frugal on my budget. Yes, uh, especially with these Windows handouts and stuff. It's getting a bit. It's ex- too expensive. Yeah. You cannot buy every handheld and as much as i would yeah. love to try all of them i like to just try them and touch them and sort of experience them once touching and then them usually is I can, important I can, and tasting i can them. store all the opinions in my brain and let the handheld go and i can recall that later you know yes. i'm good but that is not a sustainable way to create content at all no. You, no. you cannot get a review unit for one thing from everyone. You're, you're going to maybe yeah. do 50% review units, 50% self-purchase. And yeah. the, the rate handhelds come out is crazy. The Windows handhelds, like you said, is absolutely too much money. I'm not going to buy an MSI Claw. So I have okay. to, I have to, I have like some criteria, some secret criteria that I have to make for myself. All okay. of those are checked. I will find a way to buy it. The R33S I knew is a piece of crap though, but it was on such a good sale in AliExpress the other day. Yeah, and I said, so you know what? Let's at least just have a look. Yeah. I've been waiting to try to find this one, and it's impossible to get a hold of. And I know it's bad. I know it's bad, but I <laughs> so still you're knew. But this one, yeah, this one, I Stops. overrode myself, <laughs> and I got it's here, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to talk about this in the podcast once. Hey, I talked about it on your podcast just yes, now, so, so my opinion is out there. It. But it's done. Yeah, we shielded. It. <laughs> it's over. It's done. <laughs> Uh, the new one, though, I'm really starting to fall in love with. I didn't uh-huh. give it a good review at first. Was is the mm. RGB 30 from Power Kitty? Dude, where's mine? I we, so we we are twinsies on that one. So I uh, on my new video, I mentioned this and I talk about this. I'm like, I didn't give it a great video, but please go re look at this device, and I am going to release another video on it because yes, this is my too. personal retro gaming device. This is the one that I retro game on. It's Steam Deck and this. What do you think yeah. it is about it? What do you think it is about it for you that pulls you back to it? I don't know, because I just got the, the Parkity RGB 10 Max 3, um, which yeah. is essentially the same thing, just with a different screen and a different body. But it's just, everything mm-hmm. else is the same. And okay, I pref- there's something about this thing. I mean, the, the start and select is clicky. The shoulder buttons are clicky. The D-pad isn't mm-hmm. fantastic. It must right. be the screen. It must just be the screen. But I think it's because it's something different, you know, being exposed to so many yeah. handouts every day, all day. This is just, I pick this up in the evenings and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> right. Isn't it about, isn't it about that feeling? Isn't it, yeah. there's something in you that can override all of the technical flaws with something. If yes. it gives you that, if it gives you that, hmm, hmm. Yeah. you know, it puts a little <laughs> smile on your face and there, yeah. it's some Sparks X joy. factor. And I don't know what to call that. It's like. I don't know. I felt. I remember feeling it first with the Retroid Pocket Two Plus. That was the first handheld where I went. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, well, okay. I'm lying. GPD XD, which is a clamp. I'll pull that one out too. We'll just do a little show and tell. Yes, let's have a look at that one because that's that's before my time. So Rob mentioned so this, this, and I I just kind of pretended I knew what he was talking about. This is from 2015. I talk about this all the time recently. Just I have so much nostalgia for it. This is my <sighs> first retro handheld. It's a clamshell. Android nice. runs wow. Android on it, and it plays up to Dreamcast and DS, PSP, wow. and it's really to this day it still runs mm, well. It has like 11 hour battery life, and it just it's. It is such a good emulation clamshell. Mm. I recommend anyone yes. to try and find one of these. Yeah, I'll have to do secondhand or AliExpress somewhere. That eBay. brought so many smiles for so many years until yeah. the 2 Plus, which was yes. 
when I started becoming more of a content creator. And this is another one now. I don't know why. It took about six months or so for me to mm. turn my mind around on it. I think it's because of all the community work I've seen on it. All the it software, the hardware mods you can do to it. Um, there's just a lot of community love and passion that goes into it. And you can feel yeah. that. And then they re- well, you know what it is? They release these darn cute colorways. They release this yes. pastel green and, yeah. you know, red. And, <laughs> yeah. and exactly. I mean, like, I've got this. I'm like, should I get another color? Already, should I? Should I? I already <laughs> had it in yellow. Why oh, did I need I it in yellow. green? <laughs> uh, right? So, you know, Ladies there's no... He just said he doesn't buy everything. <laughs> I know. Before I, before I completely embarrass myself here, let me just <laughs> yes. say, I didn't buy this. I traded two playstation 5 controllers for this some months back oh wow expensive see frugal Mm, frugal because i wasn't they were extras i wasn't using them this was on an aliexpress anniversary sale for like 52 dollars or something like that and i said okay for i've been eyeing this green one okay Mm, and there's something about Mm. there's something about it there's colored face buttons now that adds a little bit of personality to it okay cool hmm I do like and, those buttons that they're doing. Oh. And I've been playing it tonight. I know, um, just to give you a hard time, I, I know that we're, we ran a little late today. And so while, while I was waiting just for you to, to, to brew your morning tea, I was playing on my RGB 30 and just playing Celeste yeah. on Pico eight, which by the way, I enjoyed your, your Pico eight video recently, but oh, cool. it, there's, there's a simplicity like. to this that, yeah, like comment, subscribe below. Um, There's a simplicity to this that just is right, that just Mm. feels right. And the other handheld that made me feel this way was the original 35XX. After I did some, this is when you had to do mods on. You had to replace the back buttons with these. Yeah, I did the better buttons. The better buttons. Mm. They're sloped, you know, and also making sure you get tape under the D-pad. Some new they face added, buttons. I, I never did the D-pad tape. Uh, I might this one it now really with the, did with the Max Three, but but I, I just did the beta buttons. Look it's, at us it's an, comparing our nerdy little. I know, things. I know. It, it's just one that really makes buttons. me happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's and, and you know what the plus and the the H don't give me that same feeling yet. And I don't know, maybe it's the software's the not there yet. Yeah, the three five XX plus and the H. Yeah, I want to. They talk don't give me that feeling yet. So. Yeah, I mean, so where will I get some buttons for this? Because I never did a button mod, and I, I'm kind of into oh, that now. Oh, 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 Aiden, let me give you Sakura. my buttons guy. No, oh, uh, no, no. So, oh, Secure is great. Secure is great. Yeah. But for the 35XX in particular, I really would recommend going with uh, uh, Cloud Life, Cloud Life 6 Cloud buttons Life. on Etsy. That's what cool. uh, I believe these were. Or if you don't mind waiting a bit, the best buttons mm-hmm. you can get are in Japan. So if you go to the various booth PM store in Japan, uh, you can get these better buttons printed from various. And he has a shop that does these transparent backs with the better buttons. Yes. And it's a collaboration. So he was allowed to do this, uh, but they just feel so good in the face buttons. Oh God. So this mm. is a mixture of those and then cloud life six for the purple buttons. Okay, here. cool. Sure. So a lot of love has gone into yours. A lot mm. of love. I, I got more cheap. into modding. I got more into modding on the three five XX than I ever have for anything in my life. Mm. A lot of them I don't mod, but this one, it really has to be modded to fully appreciate it. I feel like, and it's just freaking fun. I don't know if you are getting into this now. If Jintara has reached out to you, but I'm I'm doing a video soon. I don't know if I'm sure I'm allowed P- to talk about it. PCB no, like, flex. Yes, so I'm going to yes. be doing that soon on this. Um, Is he sending you a PCB flex kit? Yeah, and I'm kind of oh, using it as an excuse just to revisit the RGB 30 because, um, you know, I gave it a bad, not a bad review, but not a good review. So um, I want to revisit it and just say I'm modding it because I actually love this thing. Same thing here. I, at first, I'm like, I don't get it. The one-to-one aspect ratio, I don't get it. PSP, I tried to play PSP on it and I stretched it vertically and Russ <laughs> just shook his head at me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Dude? <laughs> what are you doing? And I thought it was hilarious and I think I did a live stream on it and I'm like, this thing is, it's okay. I don't understand besides yeah. like Tate mode and vertical shoot em, uh, you know, shmups and all that. I don't get it. Now I'm getting it because 4.3 content scales really well and course game boy pico a all that looks fantastic on it 
and you start to mod it like with Juntaro's mod, now you have flashy buttons, you have a better D-pad, better face buttons, better contacts, and uh, it's only oh, $12. Okay, it's cool. only $12 for that kit, but you got to mm. pay for shipping from Japan. And yes. so... So that became yeah. a problem for me. So he reached out. Actually, I reached out to him. I said to him, yeah. listen, I, I see you've got this thing. Um, and then he said, do you want me to send it to you? I said, no, look, I'd, I'd rather support you and buy it, mm. which turned out to be a, a mistake. He's like, listen, I'll just send it to you. Because I, I went to shop and then it, it, like I've got to send it to a shipping go-between called Tenso. And then Tenso has to ship it to me. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was like $20 for the PCB, um, a bunch of buttons, and yeah. then my shipping was going to be like fifty dollars, so I was like, oh, "This is like yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's about right." It, it, I mean, yeah. it's expensive to ship uh, mm. across. I mean, especially probably from Japan to South Africa. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you've got to you've got to ship it to Europe, and then a man has to carry it over the Suez Canal, and then that man has to throw it over the border, and then so on and so on <laughs> through Africa. No, this, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll cut that out. Uh, oh yeah. no, leave it in. Never, <laughs> never cut it out. Are you kidding me, man? I'm on our on the on the retro handhelds podcast on RH podcast. Yeah. It's, it's all live. We don't edit a single moment out. All of my horrible, horrible, shit. awkward mistakes. I pronounce words so terribly sometimes. Rob and everyone is calling me out lately. <laughs> Because I, I cannot, enough. for the life of me, pronounce certain words correctly. <laughs> like with your, like with, you Afri Af with, with your, with your Afrikaans language. Is that I don't know if I'm pronouncing Afrikaans correctly. Well, uh, it's Afrikaans, uh, but I mean obviously Afrika it's uh, Afrikaans. Afrikaans. Uh, for the life of me, I cannot get my head around the the language. And so and there was yeah. one. Uh, Quick, quick, quick sisters. There's a yes, food item. sisters and cook Boboiti. sisters. Boboiti. Just, I and I said something else, you, but I just launched. I just, I was no, like, I know you were dying. Those words. <laughs> I was and crying. That I was, was literally, but you see, moments like that are my favorite. It's sort of yeah. natural, it's off the cuff, it's organic. These things yeah. happen, and uh, people get enjoyment out of that. And that's like those mm. moments get clipped more than anything else, and they get shared yeah. and remixed. And, um, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't mind. Aish says that uh, I make myself the butt of the joke all the time. That I. That okay. I make. And I'm like, if people are laughing at me, that's fine. But for me, it doesn't matter because it's still an outlet. You know, it's still just I'm having fun. I don't care if mm. I mispronounce words, and I think it's funny because I'm. I know I'm doing the best I can, anyways. Uh, and sometimes yeah. I'll. I'll exaggerate. I'll lean into it a bit. But yeah, th there's two sides to that stuff because, like, on on the one hand, it could be that you're just so self confident that you don't care, or the other option, which <laughs> we could discuss sure. in this yeah. in this counseling forum that I have set up for you. Um, <laughs> Continue is, yes. is 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 that sort of innate insecurity where, like, you know, you feel like no matter how much you achieve, you still don't feel mm. like you've achieved anything. The, the reason I say yeah. that is because it's been on my mind. Um, because in, in the, I think it was in the episode where you were like, you, you just seemed, you were like, uh, it was in the post episode conversation. You were like, yeah, I don't know what to do with my videos. And oh, like, yeah. I could see yeah. it like an insecurity there. And you're like, you were like, and, and I, mm -hmm. I, in the, in the episode, I was like, yeah, shame. And then afterwards I thought to myself, dude, like, You've built this huge community. You have like a team behind you. Why are you feeling insecure about your video content creation? You know, I don't know. Oh, I'm just putting I'm that out there. And, well, I, yeah. I appreciate that. This is a good conversation or a good topic. Hmm. I, can, I, can, I think I can be honest with myself here and say that I want to make videos at the level that the rest of you do, you know, that you're making, that Russ is making, that Aish and Rob are doing, that these really nice cinematics and the production quality. Yeah. My reality is that I spend so much time working on the podcast and perfecting the live show and the live everything mm -hmm. that when I, I, I have limited time to work on these production video, standalone produced videos. Yeah. And when it comes down to it, I just don't have the time to make something that I'm proud of. And so every time I let myself okay. down and so, yes, yes, you're and right. Just you're like right. Hammers I, I you. run, um, I run a, uh, a giant uh, gaming community, a, a retro handhelds thing, entity website, mm. the YouTube, um, mm. everything that it's, it's a lot of fun. I get very inspired mm -hmm. from all of it. 
Uh, but then when it comes to my own creativity and my own stuff, I'm so hard on myself. I am so critical and like everything is everything about video creation to me feels unnatural. Whereas talking and having conversations with people and doing live interaction with the audience feels natural. Mm -hmm. This feels good. Trying to sort of get the lighting right and then get the overhead camera. right, And then, Mm -hmm. you know, do I, do I unbox it and show that journey or Mm -hmm. do I, or do I play with it for a week and then talk about my experience with it in front of the camera and then show B roll of the device You know, do you do that sort of Bob Wolf style or I guess Russ mm-hmm. does that style these days, too? Yes. I'm, I'm so in my freaking head about it that yeah, I'm see. constantly yeah. changing my my format for how I do videos. Um, mm. And I mean, I'll find my I have to imagine I'll find my group. I've been doing this about two or three years for video stuff. And mm. um, I don't know. I'll, I'll get there. I'm not super worried about it, but I do get insecure about just about the videos. Mm. Everything else I feel, I feel okay about. Well, okay, actually, good. I get insecure about okay. a lot of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I really do. Um, and that's, I don't know. You just got those things in your psyche, but um, yeah. I kind of reset every day. Yeah, like like the next spots. day I try again. I'm like, all right, yesterday was shit. I'm going to start again today. Let's see what we can do today. Yeah. Um, and well, at the end good. of the day, at the end of the day, I have the podcast, which I'm always proud of. I'm always proud of the work mm-hmm. that we put into that. Uh, yeah, and the, the team is there and it was awesome having you on. And, um, you know, we gave you a hard time. You got to see the full <laughs> shenanigans that we get into. I love it. I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah. You liked it. Like, okay, I really good. felt at home. Yeah. I felt very cool. welcome and at home and like, you get like, cause I mentioned this before we started that people are criticizing me for interrupting people, which I've done to you a couple of times now, but uh, Today, you guys just kind of rolled it with it. At, at least once I've done it. At, well, it's good. You're self-conscious least. about, or mean that you're conscious of it. Um, yes. but I haven't noticed and it, it's, uh, you and I both have ADHD. So it's, I mean, mm-hmm. who get, who, who gives a crap? Like we're going to yeah. step on each other and, uh, I don't get really get offended with that too much. Yeah. Well, my, my point was you guys gave me the space to be me. And that, that, that's like really cool. Like, I, cause you can see when you arrive on the podcast, there's this whole thing happening. Like there's mm. the RH vibe that happens. And, um, so I was late and I came in, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, and I kind of, I forgot that. I forgot that there's this whole sort of RH like scene that happens as soon as you hop on the podcast. I just like kind of went for it and you guys <laughs> just rolled, rolled with it. And it was so nice. And so when I watched it back afterwards, I was like, oh, yeah, they were really kind of like, they were being really nice and that, that, that felt good. Yeah. Oh man. Um, <clears throat> it's good to hear that. It's good to hear that. We <clears throat> always want to showcase our guests and make it about them, but we do cool. sort of have news to cover and a show to run and all <clears throat> that. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's always a balance of showcasing yeah. the guest. Cause I'd love to do more of what you and I are doing here and really <clears throat> just get one-on-one down deep down and dirty and get these sort of quality conversations. Um, yes. But yet we sort of have this other vibe where we have the mm-hmm. live audience is almost their own guest. And then we yeah. have news we want to cover and talk about. And so it's like a, it's almost like a variety show these days. Yeah. We're, yeah. Our podcast used to be this. Though. Like it used to be just Thor and I having a con- one-on-one conversation. And then sometimes there'd be a guest. So okay. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I might have maybe picked up on that in the beginning. It was, we, I think we might have talked about it last time. It was, uh, it was a long time ago. And yes. Before it was before YouTube, before videos, it was just the podcast. Mm, that was and the thing. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, God, we were so naive back then. Like we were so, <laughs> so no idea what we're doing, and it, it was. It was almost like I don't know, learning to walk or something. It was. Yeah. You don't know. You you don't know what to talk about when you're starting a podcast. You you, you don't know what it's, to talk about. What, what are the topics? Yeah. You think, oh, all yeah. right, I'm just gonna wing it on the fly, and it's just sort mm. of this meandering thing that goes on and then it ends yeah. and you realize it can't be yeah yeah and then over time you start to format mm-hmm. it a bit mm-hmm. but but you got to be careful because you don't want to make it too serious or too too structured to where you lose that sort of fun yes. in the moment element and so yeah i don't know I, i'm still looking for the right balance striking the right balance to this day i always mm-hmm. looking to improve what we're doing you're definitely it's, improving as you go. Um, as you go, oh, yeah. Yeah, like 
Oh, so, so my entry was too. So I'm the the original where it was just you and Thor. I, I don't think I ever was around for that. But um, my entry yeah. was actually, and this is when I first contacted you. Um, yeah, was and it was a bit of a selfish reason because I just started the the, the YouTube and uh, you were doing like a weekly update. I think this was you mm-hmm. mentioned there yeah. was a time where you were struggling a little bit, like Thor had kind of left and you were kind of yeah. just all over the place. And um, oh, yeah. you were doing these updates and you, you said to me in the previous episode, um, so I, I remember this afterwards and I've been meaning to say, say this is, um, that it was kind of like all over the place and it wasn't very good. But for me, that was some of the best podcast content, um, huh. because it was these short updates and I was like, Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, I don't really like that. Finish the episode. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I feel, I feel like I know what's happening in the scene now. So that was my first entry into your podcast, and I, I actually enjoyed those short little little updates. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, I did that. What yeah. I did that for maybe six months or something, just sort of yes. yeah, fifteen minute or so, quick little snippets of what's going mm. on. You know, Joey of Joey's Retro Handhelds is yes. doing that idea now. He, so he's I it's living that. on through him. Yes. He's doing short, yeah. brief living updates. Um, and if you want a more expanded version, then you watch our podcast where we're going to, we're going to really break it down for you yeah. for, you know, an hour or two. And then you got the nerd nest podcast, which is doing, but more mm. modern news, more modern yeah. gaming stuff. And yeah. you got Russ on there. You got mm. the Fox uh, yes. and all that. And so th- I'm, I'm sure there's others, but those are the main ones that I know of. Yes, uh, and then you got I've your watched. podcast here where you're the one-on-one historian documenting all yes, of us. The- and the, I don't know what I am a th- and a therapist, basically. Yes. The, the therapist, retro therapist, yeah. mm. the retro pissed retro pissed <laughs> would be a great YouTube channel name. It could really contain a whole bunch of different kind of ideas on there. <laughs> yeah. Retro pissed. That is kind of what my channel he is all retro about. Pissed. All about the, re- all about the retro feels. Retro and then pissed. I do enjoy a bit of a, a retro argument from time to time. And you um, have some beers and could, you get retro pissed. So let's let's change gears a bit because you mentioned to me that um, you think me and Shem should uh, do a regular thing. Um, I haven't spoken to him you about know, this, but it's been on my mind. Um, yeah. Well, what do you, what do you do, how do you think that would look? Well, listen, you and Shem are two opposite peas in a pod. You're living in a pod. We really are. But but you're at the opposite ends with your opinions about things. Yes. It's funny because you'll release a video and say something and Shim releases a video really close to it with the complete opposite opinion. <laughs> but you guys I are both it. gentlemen. You're both it. gentlemen yeah. and you find a way to exist. And you're what I can tell you're quite good friends. You guys did that live stream yes. together. You've been growing yeah. at the same sort of yes. rate. Uh, and that's yeah. been really cool. I got to send you a video of me at the dentist. Yes, for yes. During your yeah. live stream. Please, guys, check out that episode for the live, the, the 10K was, celebration. That was wonderful. It was so silly. What, what are you at now? You're you're flying way past that. What do we this say? was also from the 10K and live stream. And Tech Dweeb. That's right. Yeah. That Remember little fun made, guy. Did you, that was, did you see the video he made? It was <laughs> the crazy. The video he made? Yes. So you were, he you also were talking did a video. about this on, uh, yes. on our podcast, I know. But Yeah, and he, 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 so that, that was me. Then he made a sham little man. He needs to post oh. him, his little man. And then he made a tech dude man. <laughs> but then he made a gang that came into the room. And, like, he made up this whole story. I was like, it was so, like, we, we were still right in the beginning of our relationship. I don't think he'd even been on mm-hmm. my podcast yet. Maybe he had. But we were just chatting, you know, on Discord. And he made this whole, like, little video about how this biker gang came in. And we had a Nintendo, <laughs> do- like, game off. And... Basically, if we didn't win this Nintendo game off, they were going to like kill us. But <laughs> Tech Dweeb had, he like eventually had his eyes closed and he was playing, playing Nintendo and he, he beat the game and the bikers are like, okay, sorry. And they left or he beat them up or something. It was just like, it was hilarious. Man, Dweeb is so creative. I he cannot is. even, you ever get, you ever get where you meet somebody in the scene here, especially another content creator and they're just so creative that you're mm. annoyed that you're upset about it because they're so <laughs> good. Yeah. You're intimidated. You're never going to reach that, but, yeah. but you know, it, it all in all due fairness, you do reach those moments in different parts of your work, it, but it's hard mm. to recognize that about yourself. But in others, yes. you can always look at them and say, like Russ is yeah. a classic example. Like he is the goat, you know, he is the guy, the greatest, the he's yeah. the goat. And, uh, and it, it can be, and you, you eventually realize 
you got to just do everything in your own voice. You got to do it yeah. your own way. And that's going to mm. be the best you can do. It's going to be yeah. your thing. Um, so mm. I think you and Shem getting your op- opposing opinions on a podcast is lightning in a bottle because mm. I think what would made what made my, our podcast really good early on was Thor and I were pretty opposite about stuff. And so we got to argue a lot, but we were friends enough to where we could argue and push each other and yes. not and then still hurt be happy the relationship about it the and still be happy yes. about it. Finding someone to have that, to bounce that off with that kind of energy is gold. If you can sort of sort that and you, you tell them, you're like, I'm going to go, I'm going to ride you hard. I'm going to go in hard on you about this. Don't be offended. Then you get to the point where you don't even need to say that. You know, it's understood yeah. between you two. You have this yeah. unspoken bond. You finish well, each other's weird. sentences. Yeah. yeah. I mean, me and Shem are like that, which is strange. So anyone who's watching this and doesn't know who Shem is, Retro Breeze, go Retro check out Breeze. his channel. I'll try to That's link great. as many of the things we talk about in, in the show notes. But Shem, yeah, Shem is a, he's a gentleman, Shem but he's also gem. kind of punk rock. He's also a badass he because he, it's so he, will call, he will call out any bullshit from any company and other yes. content creators too. Like Retro Dodo flamed us the other day about it, uh, an affiliate link we had on Twitter. Yes. And, yeah, and he uh, just went for them. And, and he went, he went straight. He took the knife out and he went straight for it. And uh, he's like, it was really, you know, not necessary for you guys to, to go to that level, to drop, yes. to sink to that level. It's like, just be good. Just make good content. Then you don't need to spend time trashing others to make yourself look better instead yeah. you could spend that same energy on just you know making quality content and Crazy. shem it's like got balls <laughs> shem went for it and i was like dude <laughs> I, you you know you said that way better than i could have i i wrote a response as well because it was so out of left field it's like what yeah. did we ever do to you dodo you know it, yeah. i guess dodo is going the way of the dodo <laughs> and uh, he's upset yeah. about it. He's upset that we're still doing our thing. Uh, you can yeah, leave the sure, segment it's, in it's, too. It's I was, rough. I was, yeah. I was flabbergasted. I've never had that sort of uh, behavior from another content creator. It's, it's ridiculous, but yeah. To, to um, fill people in uh, the retro Dodo wrote an article about how their income's going down with Google ads. And, you know, bullshit. like someone, someone said, you know, that we, we hate to see anyone, lose income and all this but um yeah yeah there, there, there's no need to go after other platforms there's not creators no no i mean i guess you know what and i'm a hypocrite because here i am sort of trashing i'm i'm saying i'm 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 mm-hmm. being critical of, of dodo but um you know they were they were one of the first outlets that inspired me to to realize like there's a whole scene here you know yes. some of their their articles yeah. have the best seo and so they are everywhere on the internet they're mm-hmm. they're just everywhere you look so they don't need to to bring others down by to bringing do that. that toxic sort of drama into it nobody nobody um i have to imagine it's a bad look right it, it, people do people mm-hmm. respond to that i guess the drama does bring in people yeah. to they're, they okay. they get the popcorn yeah. out. They want to see a train wreck. They're hoping, yes. you know, they're yeah. hoping that we're responding. And that so now you have these. Yeah, yeah. So they don't have to talk about it. Retro they can just people arguing. Yeah. You know, having retro wars. And so I know Joey was like, "I'm getting the popcorn out. Um, <laughs> this is going to be good." And I'm like, Joey. Yeah. No, no. Um, but Shem was the one who started this. Who started mm. this? And he, and he, he yeah. posted it to us. And I was like, oh. and this happened. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about this is that this has been going on for a while. They started okay. lightly, lightly prodding yes. us. And now I directly something the other day and outright. I was surprised to see you guys responded. You were like, okay, listen, yeah. maybe let's just stop all this. Yeah. I'll yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so now there's, they're, they're directly sort of calling us out on this and that. And, uh, mm. I'm like, is this what I'm going to be doing on a, on a Friday? Am I going to be or, or arguing, uh, with, with, the the, the the dodo guy um the, dodo guy. <laughs> the, the rest <laughs> the of the man. the rest of the day they don't need they they can do other stuff with that energy they can make they can mm. work on their videos their video guy is great by the way i like him and yeah and their writer for a long time i'm good friends with nara okay uh, nara makes games anthony wallace he's a super cool guy and we we uh, collabed mm. a number of times uh, okay. on different like news drops and things like that it was oh, cool. really good give and take sort of relationship yes. we had and then they yeah. fired him um for whatever reason and then 
now they're just like on the offensive. They're saying mm, Google is strange. destroying their business. Google is taking them down. Um, you know, it's Google's fault that an AI's fault and Reddit's fault yeah. that they're failing. When um, if you look at it, you realize that their articles, uh, well, what they do is they focus on SEO first, which is great when you're starting out, I suppose, to get yourself out there mm. in Google and Google search results. And you're building a business. I mean, you're building a business. Gets, you can build a business. There's no shame in that. Yeah. But the content is built out of the SEO. Like the SEO, the hot keywords are all thought of first, and then you write content out of that. Whereas, mm. and eventually people get over that, and then there's advertisements every paragraph. There's a paragraph, mm -hmm. advertisement, paragraph, advertisement. Yeah. Um, and so over time, Google's down favoring them. People aren't clicking as much. They're not going there as much. Um, I don't know what the reasons are in particular. There are their blog. You should, you should all read the blog. It was an interesting blog article. And I there's a lot it. of, and it, yeah. it, I mean, it highlights some good things in that uh, independent sites are getting hurt by Google's algorithm. Independent sites are getting hurt by AI scraping. You know, the AI mm -hmm. scraping is a concern. It's taking original work, remixing it, summarizing it for people. And then the original content creator is not getting those clicks, those views, that ad revenue. The credit. Yeah. Which they've been it's, working furiously yeah. to do. That is a very good point. Yeah. It's the AI and or whoever owns the AI that they're getting the money and all that stuff. And so it, it was a whole thing Interesting. Um, in saying that their brand is dying. Yeah. And I did respond to that just saying, well, looking at our metrics, I'm not seeing any of this to what be you're saying. what we're seeing on our side. Um, yeah. But we do things a little differently. The difference might be we don't have any ads for one thing, which shouldn't matter either way, really. But we write the content first and put the SEO last. That's the last step. We write the content yes. that we like. We're passionate about the topics we're talking about. We're focusing on accuracy and getting everything right in the content. Last, we go in, start putting some hot keywords. So we show up in Google search results. Sure, get the title right. So it's just like doing a video, really, and you know, doing yeah. all that stuff, getting a, th a good-looking thumbnail. They're, Google's big on original thumbnails and original pictures being yeah. used. Make sure you're crediting the right sources, all this stuff. And we're just seeing this sort of constant increase, constant growth from whatever we're doing. Um, and we're showing up in Google News Feed more and more every day. Our articles yeah. um, we're showing up right alongside Dodo. And, uh, you are. And then yeah, other... It, because you, you responded to someone else's comment on Twitter. So I followed this a little bit and... I think this is true for my, my YouTube channel as well, is the fact that you, you were like, it kind of hurts us in the beginning. And uh, I remember in the beginning stages, like you got, it was like really slow. And like, I don't know, mm -hmm. if, I don't know if we talked about it, but it, it seemed like it was quite frustrating. And you weren't seeing like as much growth, growth as you maybe yeah. expected, you know. Were you um, talking about the website or videos? The, the website. So I'm comparing oh, your yeah. websites to my YouTube oh. channel, kind of just thinking there's a similarity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah it was like slow for a long Focusing on quality content. Time. Like, good like let's answer this question that someone asked on reddit let's right. answer this question someone commented on oh Twitter yeah like, do that kind of thing which is we what were, you guys were doing with your websites um but we don't it ever, wasn't super yeah. seo friendly like no you know, like like maybe getting, giving a in the beginning <laughs> making a title like this is cool like it's not going to pick up on google but no it it's genuine and i think it that's was, why you guys are now winning you know now well okay yeah so we almost gave up. In fact, we were like, do we start using AI chat GPT to start getting the articles Google yes. friendly? But I could it, yeah. never, we could never finally pull the trigger on that one. I just, something about just ethically, something felt so wrong about that. Oh, yeah. That I don't know. So we're like, you know what? Maybe we'll never be successful with the website, but we're making the content we like. And so yeah. we kept doing it for a year, another year, a third year. Mm. Then, and I, I don't know what the, what the, you know what it was? We started making daily articles. We got a big enough team of writers and we started attacking a schedule. Okay. Seven days a week, we have an article coming out now. Oh, wow. It okay. was around, yeah. I don't know, November, December, I guess, mm -hmm. when we really went out all in on the daily stuff. Now Google's like, you guys are a reliable source that it's going to keep giving us stuff to push out yes. for people to read. The site response yeah. time is super quick. 
Uh, there's mm-hmm. no ads, so it just loads right up and it's nice and clean interface. Uh, and so finally, we started seeing our articles and our reviews and our news show up in Google's newsfeed along with all the other mm-hmm. big outlets. And now it's only been increasing. We, you know, so we went cool. from yeah. two, 300 views a month on the website to now it's just like thousands and thousands and thousands. And just like yeah. it's this exponential well growth. So what? It's amazing. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's I don't know. It's staying true to yourself and then committing to it and just being consistent. Um, yeah. And I don't know why, but now, now, and we had an article about, I don't know, the Steam Deck. Um, it was the Steam Deck DS mod. So you turn your Steam Deck into a 3DS with a second screen. We had that article out. So that's it's like ridiculous, that, but wonderful. And that's, <laughs> and that made the whole website viral because that landed on Tom's hardware, okay. that landed on PC world and they're wow. referencing it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Reddit and all that stuff. And, um, and so now we're like, Okay, this was uh, this was a dream of mine. My whole life, dude, uh, for years was to make Amazing. a well done a news outlet and to run mm. like an online magazine or an online blog yes. of some sort. And yeah. uh, I originally had a website in 2019 called StubbornPixel.com, which ended up just becoming my username, which got shortened eventually yeah. to Stubbs. But that was yes. going to be the website. That was going to be. Yeah. And Retro Dota was inspiring me at the time. In fact, and Taki, yeah. he was he had just started. Before Russ, you know, it was just Taki and Retro mm-hmm. Dodo and ETA Prime pretty much yes. and uh, obscure handhelds. And so these were my inspirations. And but I couldn't I don't know. I couldn't make websites very well. I'm an IT guy, but I couldn't really make websites that I was <laughs> proud of. Irony. I couldn't I, because of the ADHD, I found it hard to commit to making the right content, and sticking with it. And okay. so I eventually went to creating a discord instead in a subreddit. And then got into videos yes. and then focused on the website. And I'm not involved no. with it. I'm just overseeing the whole thing and sort of no. making sure all the pieces move. And yeah. um, I'm proud of the team and it's been really fun. And yeah, thanks for for sort of getting on this topic because I haven't had no, a chance well to done, gush man. about the website. And I hope it's not coming mm. off to you like, like, oh, look, at you know, here we are. We're getting no, big boys. I but, love this. Yeah. but my message to Dodo, if you're if you're watching this, sir, uh, Brandon, no shade, by the way. I'd love for you to come on the podcast. Uh, we can we can have a retro fight. We can really debate it out. Um, but if you guys are going to succeed, you got to drop the attacking other content creators. That's not the way to, you know, going down with the ship. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, um, it's not the game's not over. You just mm. the jigs up as far as the Google SEO. You're gaming the system, and Google caught on, and now they're just, done with it. All you got to do is write to change direction, write content from the heart, maybe less Mm -hmm. ads, um, fact check everything. And the outlet can regain its footing and can, you know, it's good to have some competition. I, I would be scared if we were the only outlet out there now. Yeah. And there's nothing pushing you to be better. There's nothing pushing you to be better. You'll get stagnant. You need, you really need someone else out there to sort of be there Mm -hmm. to keep you on your toes a little bit. And so I wish they could yeah. find a way to embrace the competition a bit. Hell, look at us. We're all we're all YouTubers in the same space. Yes, same space. Disagreeing. We're, all, like, we're disagreeing. Yeah, they need to learn from me and Shim. We're we're <laughs> lightly we're all lightly to moderately competitive with each other, but we're all also really good friends. And we have a friend yep. group that we chat with each other in mm. and we share each other's struggles, our ups and downs. Uh and you yeah. know, this is a niche scene and it's not that big, really. And yeah. we all yeah, really one day we're going to have to bump into each other at CES or something. And then it's going to be all yes. awkward because we had an argument on Twitter. You know, so. Oh, yeah. 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 There is always a chance to repair. Um, I think any relationship to uh, to a degree. Um, yeah. And I hope I hope that can happen. I hope they continue. I don't I, I do not find joy in seeing another outlet fail. OK, yeah. Yeah. I just think that the article that they wrote about Google being the 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 big evil thing that's taking them yeah. down uh, is a cop out. I think it's not. It was written in anger, Stubbs. Like you it's know, not when I was reading it, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Stubbs. Like um, yeah, when I when I read it, I was like, this sounds like an email I wrote to someone when I was angry. That's how it felt. It's- Yes, you know, you know, yeah, and it was, yeah, it was written, and this, you know, and this, oh yes, right, and this thing, oh yeah, and, and that person also, and this, and <laughs> by the end, like, here's, I didn't want to jump in on this, but it's kind of like triggering me I because don't know. 
like I was Googling something else last night and mm-hmm. I just read retro Dodo's thing. Like we aren't coming up on Google. We're losing ad revenue. Google is, there's a conspiracy and they're killing small creators. Right. And then I Googled this thing and one of the top articles is retro Dodo, but the information was incorrect. Correct. So yeah, that's the problem. You know? Well, yeah. And then Reddit had a field day with it because when you go, when you go and do what you call maybe an apology video, a classic YouTube apology video, you go and do a dramatic piece on the website. It's all sort of the same thing. People will tear it apart. Um, yeah. So Reddit, if you look at the Reddit response to this article, it's, yes. it's just when oh. people are just going all in and all of their years of sort of annoyance with the incorrect facts <laughs> and all that there. stuff is built up into yeah. this cacophony now of a revolt. And I don't even know, you know, I don't even know if they see that stuff because I'm not sure how they operate. And mm-hmm. um, all I can say is I invite them on to the podcast really. So we can have a talk it through good. Like yeah. let's talk it through. There doesn't need to be mm-hmm. the adversarial relationship among creators like this. Um, mm-hmm. All they got to do is change direction don't rely on the SEO. Screw the SEO. Just you know, the website's the already out it. there. People are already yeah. going there every day. There's Why a huge body of SEO. Uh, now let's just push forward with better uh, content or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah, do what you're talking. If you're not passionate about retro handhelds anymore, then talk about something else. Mm. You can talk whatever you want. I'm locked in to retro handhelds because our name is retrohandhelds.gg. <laughs> We're no yeah. matter what, we've talked about it. They have, they have the opportunity. They talk about Pokemon cards. They, they can go into so many other yeah. realms now. That, but that uh, I think that was, you know, you know I think so. Uh, maybe we're going on this a little bit long, but that was Brandon's original. You could see when he, when he branched out, I was like, this is really clever what he's doing. I liked like, it. I think he's got a good business head on him. And I think it was a good idea. I mean, like he mentioned in the article, they went out to Casey Neistat. All of those things were great business moves. Mm-hmm. And you could see like, We've been watching him from the beginning. He definitely has a passion for this. Like, um, yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't want to speak too much about it, but yeah, the, I, I, I just think there's just this. Uh, this, this is what I, this is my last thing I'll say. Yeah. Is if he can get away from the anger and read those Reddit comments and find the kernel of truth, it'll take him a while yes. because he'll be furious and you'll have sleepless nights. But yes. he'll get the kernel of truth, and he will through that comment section, he will find the problem. Uh, you will find it talks a little bit of outside. It does. It, it does. And Reddit can help with that for people and as much as, as much as it uh, it's painful sometimes. And I yeah, read some be horrible mean. things know, on Reddit sometimes yeah. about us as well, mm. about me yeah. and my freaking large thumbs or whatever it is. My jokes yeah, about be- yeah. jokes about beans or whatever. Um, <laughs> it, it does, it does elicit some self-awareness and some yes. sort of growth. Mm. And if you are, able to handle that and look inside yourself uh let the fire be lit within you with the knife get the knife out that's right yes let the fire be lit within you this is an important part and (laughs) (laughs) we've been using that that knife emoji of you everywhere and i've been loving the hell out of it um thank you for letting (laughs) us use that emoji um (laughs) if you if you focus on on the, that sort of the, the inner growth that you get from the criticism mm. and inspire that and let it burn a fire in you to be better Turn it to the positive. And yeah. you don't do it for the people who are coming down on you. You do it for yourself. Mm. You know, you can be better. You have to know that you're, that there's some level of truth. If enough people are saying the same thing, there's a, some mm. level of truth in there and you have to be self-aware enough to acknowledge, at least acknowledge. Yeah. A little bit of it. Um, yeah. and you can go down in flames and say, I quit, I'm done, screw mm. it, you know, or you can pull yourself up by your bootstraps and say, all right, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go back to what made me happy in this. I'm going to, re- I'm going to, you know, redo and get the reputation for this brand back. Cause I'll tell you what, uh, the, some of the videos from Brandon early on, they were awesome. I mm. loved yeah. some of those videos. videos. Yeah. Those original Ambernick videos and stuff like that was mm. so Brilliant. cool that I'd, I'd never yeah. seen someone make a video like that with such production yeah. quality. Yes. And you know, it's just, you will always have a, a chance to rewrite your story. You always have a chance to, to do better if you listen to that voice. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I don't know. No, I agree. Uh, I, I had, I was thinking about, cause 
Um, when we, when I left the podcast, not left the podcast, when we finished the podcast the other day, um, and I thought, um, I, I, I always thought me and Stubbs are similar, but you know, he's built this whole world and I'm like a one man pony here with my YouTube channel. And then like as the week progressed, I realized like I have a whole business that I run on the side. And, yes. um, so I, I started thinking about the similarity between the two of us, um, how we both have this need to kind of bring people in to our, our, our world of whatever we're doing. Um, because like, I, I'm, I'm, I think the reason I'm thinking this is because I'm quite inspired by what you've done. Like talking about the website, like, well done, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible Thanks, man. how far you've come. But then, and then like, while we were talking, I was like, yeah. Stubbs, stubborn pixel. And I was like, Stubbs is pretty stubborn. Like he will, um, and I think what we all have in common, like all of us, like yeah. uh, Brandon, Russ, Shim, you, me, Joey, the whole, like Aish, every, like all the people is, yeah. is this stubbornness to be like, we're going to do this thing and we're going to do it the way we want to do it. But what you're saying is if you don't there build you that self-awareness, if you don't go like, okay, Six people this week said I interrupt people in a podcast and monologue like I'm doing right now. But how dare you? <laughs> Why would you do this on this There's podcast? An element of truth. Yeah. I, and I mean, people like you, you know, friendly and kind and like, listen, it's, it's not a big deal. But I, th I there's care. definitely an element of truth to it. And when I watch my podcast, there are, there are sections where I'm like, okay, you are interrupted that dude. You ruined his train of thoughts. Like, stop doing that. And I, I well, think if we don't have that self awareness to, take ourselves yeah. outside ourselves every now and again, Obviously. we are all going to run into that point where we write an angry yes. email, you know? Yeah. 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 And if you get to the point of writing an angry email, always, always before you hit send, stop, go on a little walk, walkie poo, go around the block, little walkie poo, little walkie poo, have a glass of water, um, watch a movie, watch a meme, something funny, come back to it. If you still feel that way, all right, send it. But I guarantee you, you're probably going to make some edits at that point. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to, you can't unsend something like that. You know, you put it yeah. out there, people have read it. You can't really take that back. So mm. uh, think about that, you know, before I, I should take my own advice. I shouldn't, I should not have responded on Twitter and create a whole dog pile situation where the stubbornness comes in yeah where everybody <laughs> everybody has an opinion now and they're like oh here's the show you know here we go for some reason every time i'm, the, I'm on drama. your show i'm on your show it's like some drama happens right before and yeah. like i start to get in like unhealthy habits so i have some good fodder to talk about for you yes and yeah. uh that's all this good. stuff it's good times yeah so that's why i knew I was like, it's got to be an Aiden. It's got to be an Aiden episode today. It's, it's I coming. Like, I, I'm feeling I was it. like, I can feel it brewing. I, I have some things to say. I have some, I'm going to well, be clapping, clapping back. I was listening um, but, to, yeah. sorry, I, 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 was, I heard Trevor know on the, on the um, you know, Dak Shepard, he's got a podcast, oh, very famous podcast. Yeah. So I saw Trevor Noah was on it. So I thought, okay, cool, South African guy, let's listen. And he, because Trevor Noah has now started a podcast. And he said to Dak Shepard, listen, man, if you come on my podcast, something will happen in your life. And you're going to come on the podcast and you're going to have to share it all. Like I said, it's just, it happens like to everyone. So maybe, maybe it's a South this African is, thing, South African podcast thing. <laughs> I think it's great. I think, I mean, what other, I'm not going to share this sort of story on our podcast. You know, it's just not the right mm. vibe it, to really yeah. sort of have share and tell in this sort of way. Mm. Where no, else am I going to tell yeah. these stories? You know, so, like this is where yeah. I would tell these stories. Um mm. So I, I appreciate getting the chance to sort of vent and talk about it. I don't know if it's a good idea to share these stories, but at this point <laughs> it's out of the bot genies out of the bottle. And it's, I'm not, it's Riverside has recorded it. You can't take it back. And it's now we can't, <laughs> now we can't take it back. Um, <laughs> like that, that is the thing about stubs and about retro handouts is the fact that you, you have that. I mean, I know, I know there's retro Dodo and that's probably why it struck, strikes a chord with you. This whole drama is because it's the only thing that's similar to what you've done, but, no one has really done what you've done, you know, like you've got, a, like, I, I, I don't, I, I see this from the outside, but you've got a mishmash of people um, that, that's, that you form like this collective, which is very unique. You know, like you said, you've got 18 guys. That's a large amount of people that you've, that you've brought together that are building this body of work. And uh, you've got the discord, which is 
very active and actually builds the community in, in a very unique way, in a very positive way. And I don't think that there isn't anyone else that's done that. So um, just like hats off to you. you know. I think I did this at the end of the last podcast. So my That's apologies. all right. I, I, I appreciate that. You know, it's funny. I, 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 that feels good. And I appreciate that. I will, I will not think that about, I will not feel good about myself in five minutes from now. It all's out the window. <laughs> I need to, and you know, my, my self-worth starts back at zero every day. I, yeah. I'm, you ever get that? I think maybe it's an ADHD thing. You, you just, um, you, you feel like you got to prove something to the world every day to, to prove your value in it. It's, it's something yeah. I'm still working on and I'm approaching 40. Okay. I, I am I'm mm. turning 39 this month and 44. Um, really? No, yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. no, you're 44 this month, April. Are you April? Did really? you just say this month? I'm April. Yeah. You're big stoner then or big stoner. <laughs> Well, no, why would I be a stoner? Because <laughs> it's a- April twentieth, and at least in America, is is the Snoop Dogg Day. So, oh yeah, there's the t- what's it the twenty? I don't know the, the number. It's something the four twenty, um, like yeah, four twenty. That's people are people yeah. are are bla- especially out here in Portland. People are just they're they're blazing. Four twenty is a yeah, big Portland's important holiday. It's like Mardi. It's like Mardi yeah. Gras, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So people get very nah, excited. Uh, that's that. lucky. Yeah, the the weird thing is that a, a hallmark of ADHD is addiction. But um, yeah, I come from a long line of alcoholics, and I just like wrecked so many lives around me that I just I've never touched Couldn't. much. Like I have a beer in the weekend. That's it. I don't get hooked. <clears throat> I don't get hooked on the alcohol. I that one maybe when I was in my twenties, mm. I got more heavy into it and doing music and and traveling and doing the musician thing. Definitely drank a yeah. lot, but. That doesn't get me going these days. These days, my dopamine addiction tends to be purchasing some, something like it. And it sucks because okay. I'm, a, I'm a tech reviewer. And so mm. I'm always like, it's for work. It's for, but you can tell beforehand, like I'm stressed out. I'm anxious. I need some retail therapy. I'm going to get another <laughs> RGB 30. And so that's why I'm saying like, I am interventioning myself and really trying to build some walls around my mm. own purchasing just to, yeah. Cause sometimes I'll get into a bad way and, and I take it out of my wallet and it's not fair to myself or probably to my kids eventually, you know, eventually like that yes. money really should be going to a college fund and, and or invest yeah. it towards retirement. Um, smart people do, you know, in their forties that you have an yes. investment portfolio. You don't have, investment of retro handhelds your drawers <laughs> and drawers of these you know he's yeah. like i'm gonna i'm gonna resell these uh, and, yeah. and um and, and so take care of it so what you're saying is when you end up with an msi claw which you said you wouldn't buy i need to call you and say are you okay? well <laughs> yes exactly and and a self-justification will go a long way because here's here you, i can self-justify anything here we go msi claw well that's from best buy you can just go up you can go pick it up and then you return it no, yeah. be, who the victimless crime, and then the next person gets it for cheaper because they can get an open box item. There you go. Uh-huh. I've, I've technically done my good, done good the world deed. Of service. I've yeah, done the world of service. Guy. I've yeah. tried the MSA Claw. Mm. Now, if it's really good and I love it, I will have no choice but to keep it, and then I'll make content on it because I love it. <laughs> so there you go. There, see this just see the, where the win, problems win. begin uh, here. See this this sort see, of but that, that, that I can't. That's difficult to argue with. So if I had to phone you, I'd be like, like, seri- like if we think this through, and I'm like, oh, I'm so worried about Stubbs, and then you say that I'm like, yeah, that does make sense, Stubbs. Okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> but but I will always recommend to others, and when I'm uh, talking in the podcast, you know, we hype, we'll hype something and and uh, get excited about it. But I always try to bring it back down to earth for others. Like I might buy it. But please, you don't need to buy it. You really don't. I don't need it. You don't need it. Nobody really needs this. Yes. However, it's very cute and it's quaint and look, it's green. So there, there yeah. you go. Yeah. It's sort I of like, like the green. I, I don't, I do not advise anyone to own more than three handhelds. You really don't need more than of the same type. The, the big, right. The big boy, <laughs> the big boy. The, oh, you mean go. overall? Okay. Overall. Yeah. yeah like. <laughs> like same type, sets. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need more of mm. one of of these the same model, especially. But get a get a big handheld like a Steam Deck, Windows handheld. Actually, that's that's a topic that I could do with Shem. Like, yeah, that, like that'd be a topic with Shem. And you and I were going to talk about this episode. We were going to talk about the future of handhelds. But now that's going to be punted even further, dude. I forgot about uh, that because I that forgot was about it too. Your podcast. 
That was and in you're like, our no, we'll podcast. do it on this episode. Now, when you come back to our podcast, we'll talk about it. We'll do it again. We'll yes, do it again would, then. And I would love to be on the podcast again, by the way. Yes. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Now, I know I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you out. So, Aiden, Aiden oh, Walls yeah. was, was an hour late to the show because we got our time zones mixed oh, up. Dude. I'm in daylight savings. We kept that quiet for so long. Um, we kept it for the whole <laughs> time. But here, I got to give you a hard time. And then this <laughs> recording, uh, he just slept in, and I also waited an hour and I and he said he'll repay me or punish himself. And I said, no, no, I don't want you to ruin your vibe for your show. You can feel bad later. later. Um, but I actually, oh, okay. I don't want. I'm going to put the screenshot. Good... She sent me a bunch of screenshots on Discord, I, I, which are hilarious. So I'm going to put oh, them on yeah, the screen. And, yeah. And so I, while I was waiting for Aiden, was playing my RGB 30, and then I was taking screenshots of myself on camera throughout the hour, and then sending it to him on Discord with different sort of like disappointed looks <laughs> expressions. and expressions and i took a knife out and threatened a little bit and i sent lots of gifts and i was like wake up honey buns let's do this uh, um uh, but yeah you actually but, said honey buns no. I, I, yeah and i am what but i'm not legend. actually uh i wasn't upset I, I i was just like i think he's it's like 5 a.m and he probably is sleeping in a little bit i'm gonna give him his beauty sleep i can stay around it's been 10. bad lately man um i don't have any excuse actually i just well, i don't know what's wrong with me lately i've Maybe I don't, and this, you needed some I, sleep. I went, you needed yeah. some sleep. It's important for your mental health to have good sleep. And no, but dude, I had a good rest. I got to bed at ten, which is like early for me. I, yeah. I, I could have easily have woken up at half past four without any issues. Anyway, you could have. I do that Sorry, all the time. I'm not a morning forgive. person, and so would I forgive you. I, in fact, I don't want you to feel bad about this at all. I, this is me giving you a hard time. This will be the sure. the public shaming that your, your audience can can <laughs> witness. Sure. Um, I get to edit this, so you could edit this out. <laughs> I have no control, but um, y- you know what? No, I'm just kidding. We've all been we've all been there, and I am not a morning person, and so I will take every extra mm. minute of sleep that I can. And I could not make a plan with somebody for a podcast if it was five in the morning my time. I could not adhere to that. I would fail them every single time, every <laughs> single okay. time. If it's before noon, I will fail as well. Anytime before, before the the day the the midday He's sun is out. Up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, but dear. and oh. so just a just a little bit of shade. But now I'm I'm done with it. I'm I'm good because yeah. this has been a great conversation, and I it has. feel good about where we've gone with it. Uh, and what were we? Where what tangent had we started on here? Oh man. Hmm. Um, I don't know. We were supposed to, you, you mentioned we were supposed to talk about the future of handhelds, blah, blah, the blah. Future of hand, the future um, of handhelds. That's right. So we'll talk about it when we're back on my podcast. Yes. And we'll, we'll get into all that. But this has been a fun deep dive into whatever it is we've been talking you. about. Me, oh, me. <laughs> me. Yes. Right. Yes. You know what? Yeah. You know what's crazy about me is that I don't know why I keep doing this. You know, you were saying that I, it built this whole thing, all that, and which you did, um, which I <laughs> appreciate. You know your feedback on this, and but I don't view myself any different than you. I don't view myself as any different than any other creator. The community mm-hmm. was built by a team of people. I just mm-hmm. sort of kept my eye on the ball. I'm like, all right, I, I know like this could it. sort of yeah. let's ex- let's see how much fun would it be during COVID. For us to start from nothing and then start ex- widening, expanding, yeah. and growing, and and you know, and like, how far can this rodeo go? And and mm. I don't know. And we're still doing that. We're still pushing. We we really hope to get to 100k on the YouTube this year, and on the website, okay. we want to get to like 100k monthly traffic, and cool. um, that's sort of the goals. And then I don't know what do you do after? What do you do after that? I guess it's a business. You the keep next on. Goal. Yeah. Um, you keep on. And when, when do you lose your soul? Like, when do you become stagnant? Because you, you, you have to keep innovating. Uh, yeah. And I just wake up every day and I just don't want to do anything. I really don't. But I'm like, there's people that depend on sort of what we're doing now where I yeah. tell myself that there's something in me that's like, you know, there's people depending on yeah. knowing information about handhelds There's people depending on or they it, it brings them comfort to be with the podcast and to listen yeah. to the show um and so you're like okay you 
get yourself in the mindset. But man, I tell you, a lot of days I wake up and I'm just like, I just want to go play Bellatro on my Steam Deck, and I want to, I want to just do nothing, and I want to just watch like just horrible documentaries about Mary, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, you like duckies? Okay, cool. Uh, I I'm love a big documentary fan. But... I love documentaries. I got a big kick on Elvis lately. I've been watching. All the okay. Elvis document. I never got into Elvis before, and I got into yes. all the Elvis documentaries. And the man is fascinating, and mm. just such a good entertainer. You know, just yeah, curious. very interesting character. So yeah. interesting, so fascinating, and I can't stop yeah. consuming the content. Anything I can find now. Um, the movies he made were awful, and a lot of the material in later years were not good. Nah. But still, yeah. it's like that's the original template. Or the sort of the modern rock star and is. rock stars. Now the kids are, the kids are telling me that rock stars now are YouTubers. Have you heard this? Yeah. yeah. That, that now yeah, yeah, the yeah. people yeah. like Gen Z or whatever, That's like the, the kids are, yeah. that they, that to them, rock stars are sort of lame. They're lame, but YouTubers, I guess yeah. are cool. Mm. So it's weird. It is. And that's weird. like a, that's a profession that kids aspire to now. Yeah. I had never thought yeah. of that. You know, yeah, and I never great. played so in my we're, life we're to cool be old guys. Are we cool? We're, you know what? We are cool. We're cool old guys. We're dads. Yeah. And, and that's cool. And that's, I get a lot of street cred for being on YouTube, not with grown ups. Yeah. No. Have you <laughs> ever been, a, recon- like, have you ever been recognized somewhere? And yeah, I've been no. through that experience. No. Actually, no. I, I think I mentioned this in one of the episodes somewhere along the line, but when I was vlogging, I did. And I was nowhere. I had like a thousand mm-hmm. subscribers. And I w- but the thing is, I was in a small town and I'd walk uh-huh. around with my, my camera like an idiot. I'm so embarrassed <laughs> by that now. Um, but then I would, would Aiden, the vlogger. Yay. I, I don't know why I did that. See? Why, you know, I had I had never, like never heard of this. Oh, yeah. That was that was a great question. Why are you like this? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'd never heard of this vlogging thing, walking around with the camera out in front of you like that. But I know Kevin okay. Nealon does it for his podcast. He goes on a mountain hike and then he has a guest like Conan okay. O'Brien or somebody and he has the vlogging style. Yes. Yeah. That, uh, that's so, a clever way to do it. Yeah. Because it, it, vlogging's I, kind of died. But yeah. Is it? Okay. I never got, well, I guess I missed the whole, the whole thing. It, it is weird that you missed it because I always say Casey Neistat is the OG vlogger. He's a very famous YouTuber. Um, but actually... The OG, OG, the guy who started it mm-hmm. all, which did, who didn't get as famous as Casey Neistat, is Ben Brown. And oh, really? I saw okay. a video pop up yesterday that he started again, like 10 years later. So it'll huh. be interesting to see if he can revive the, the scene. Uh, he's, he did a bunch of things that kind of gave him a bad name, but we'll see. See what happens. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. I'm glad that that's still a thing. I think it's cool you did that. And people around town got to know you and they saw it's not cool. what you were doing. It's not cool at all. Is it, it not cool? cool? <laughs> well, why would you do that? I'm disappointed I in you. I, I don't. I can't believe you would do this. And, Dude, I get uh, jack trips on my phone. I'm like, why? I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm ashamed. Vloggers can go. I guess. I guess straight to hell. I don't like. I don't know. I'll follow your opinion on this one. I don't really have an opinion, but, um, I, you know, I wanted. I've always wanted to just be known for my music. Like that's all I ever wanted. Me too. I just wanted it was, to it write was a music for a very long time. Yeah, and I'm still to this day. I, I hope that I get. I'm known for the songs that I write and the lyrics I write, mm. and all that stuff. Yeah, um, it's funky to me to be known for this stuff instead. You know what I mean? Like this is. Yeah, I still have that sort of imposter. Like, why am I doing imposter this? Syndrome. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a singer songwriter. Why am I? Yeah, yeah. I look at myself yeah. as a failed musician, not as a successful retro handheld person like you know content yeah. creator or something like that yes. like that's and it's it's hard to get out of that that mindset yeah. um and i know a lot of creatives struggle with this sort of thing it's because if you mm. didn't think that way you really wouldn't create art you create yeah. crap you know mm. you i think some of that self you know stuff is, is what leads to some brilliant things that can happen well, I don't know, it's like but... that age-old thing. Sorry, I, we are maybe rambling a little bit, but I, I find yeah. it interesting. It's, it's that age-old thing. Like all my favorite artists, as soon as they became happy, their music was terrible. Right. Uh, violent, vi- violent Femmes got born again. Music started sucking. Yeah. Um, you got to be tortured. Live, nice and tortured. Uh, uh, yes, tortured, addicted to drugs, all that thing. Then you'll be good. Um, the, the guys from Live, did you ever listen to the band Live? 
I my um, old band used to cover those songs every show. Yes. Those guys also, also got born cool again. Cool songs. Also cool became songs. a Christian. Oh, okay. Like stopped yeah. whatever he was doing, stopped being angry with the world and bad. Huh. Alanis Morissette, not born again, but we were on a trend. They were born again. This, but um, <laughs> Alanis Morissette just became happy. Like she just, right. you know, did therapy and became a happy person. And like, she's wonderful. Like uh, I'm still a huge fan, but her music's not as good as it was. And it, you know, it's that age old thing. Like you well, got to be tortured. And, yes. Yeah. You got to be that tortured artist to make that art. Right. Um, yeah. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I'm generally happy, kind of apathetic, but I'm still plenty tortured. So I got plenty of stuff kinda left. Apathetic. Don't worry. <laughs> kind of apathetic, kind of happy. I've had a great time chatting with you. I have a taco salad waiting in the refrigerator and I feel like I need to go eat it. I just, that is my current hyper focus. I was thinking about the, ta- <laughs> the taco salad. ADHD. No, I, I, uh, I, I've had an awesome time and I know we're, I know we're running yeah, a little late on, on this one. So, yeah. um, thanks for, thanks for having me on and, cool. uh, we can't wait to have you back on our show. Like, let's keep doing yes, this. I can't wait for, I can't wait thanks for you so and much, Shem, you and Shem to have your own show. I think that's, yeah, I need easy. to talk to him. I, I feel like maybe it's, it's a good idea. Mm. Okay, yeah. cool. I think so cool. too. Thanks, Debs. Thanks, Aiden. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Can I just quickly check? I'm wondering whether the cleaning lady isn't here. She's been standing there for like half an hour. Oh, Hang sure. Yeah. Aiden's cleaning lady is here. Yeah. I have questions. What's she doing? Is she, is she actually the one who does all the back end work on Aiden's videos? Is the cleaning lady the ultimate retro reviewer? We need to know.